I'm Cindy from Startup World Tech and we are doing a co-interview with Aving News from Korea on the K Startups this year at Switch 2022. So the Switch uh, event is actually the Singapore Week of Innovation and Technology and we are going to interview some startups. And the next company that we are going to look at acts as a bridge between financial institutions and data economies. So uh, we are heading over to Aizen right now to find out more. Hello! So this is Damien from Aizen. I'm going to ask him, um, maybe we take a seat first? Okay. Uh, can you tell me more about Aizen? So Aizen, we are a startup, an AI startup from South Korea. Um, like you know how Elon Musk uses AI to drive his cars, right? Uh, Aizen, we aim to use AI to create automated financing. So AI that run, uh, financing runs itself, right? Um, and our key focus is credit. Okay. So uh, how does this benefit your clients? Right. So um, there is a huge credit gap in uh, Asia, especially Southeast Asia. And what we do is basically we help uh, data economies. So data economies like your e-commerce, your ride hailing, your online travel aggregators, your e-wallets. Um, they want to retain their customers and also they want to build out uh, new revenue streams. So you know they want to basically say, hey, I want to build a buy, and buy now, pay later for our customers. Uh, we want to help our merchants grow by giving them uh, working capital financing. Right now, to build these uh, financial products is expensive and requires a lot of expertise. That's where we come in. You know, we are a scalable and, and, and low cost, um, I would say low cost, but we are, we are affordable. Uh, that help them to scale rapidly, uh, build our credit products rapidly. And on the other hand, we have your financial institutions where banks want to access uh, new customers, but because they don't know how, uh, they don't have the right data to do so. That's where we build a, a bridge between uh, data economies and also the banks, so that banks are also able to tap into these data economies, right? Which is why we have a product called Credit Connect, uh, which acts as a bridge between uh, these both sides. Okay, I see. So, um, what kind of challenges do you face uh, in this industry? Um, I wouldn't say challenge, but I think it's a exciting opportunity because it's a large addressable market, and of course, we want to you know play a part in all all, all the sectors, all the segments. Um, and of course, we know we will need all the finance, the, the, the funding that we can, so that we're able to uh, grow and scale up uh, as quickly as possible. Okay, I see. So moving forward, uh, any expansion plans or such? So I think today we are in, uh, we are in Korea, in Singapore, in Indonesia and Vietnam as well. Um, we are focused on e-commerce and also the EV market. Now there is a huge uh, opportunity for both e-commerce and also the EV market in Southeast Asia. So I think uh, once we have grown through a pilot for EVs, we also want to touch countries such as uh, Thailand, uh, Philippines as well. Okay, I see. Thank you so much for sharing, Damien. Thank you.